Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Basic Funda. And as we discussed in my last video that we are going to discuss generation of notification record in this video. So let's start. And as I said that I will be using CRM Risk Builder to show you how we can generate the records and we will be talking about each and every field of this entity. So I have uh, I have imported CRM Risk Builder and I have opened this. So this is the small sample that I have taken uh, to generate a new notification record. So basically what I am doing here is this is the body that I am trying to create and using the XRM Web API call we will be creating a record for a notification entity by passing this. So first parameter is title. So this will be the title of a notification. This will be the body of the notification. This will be the owner of the notification and if you see I am using my user ID. Third, fourth point is icon type. So in this, uh, we have different kind of icons that is already provided within the system. So let's see in my blog. So what are those? So these are kind of the icon types that has been provided already. So this is info, success. So the values are given and you have to place these values here according to your requirement. So this is info, success, failure, warning, man mention. Now the last one is custom. So in case you want to have your own icon, then you can use this custom value in our body. And in our next videos, we will see how we can apply that custom icon. So I'll be giving the link of that video in my description box so that you can check in case you are trying to apply this option. So these are kind of icons and these these are the uh, uh, images of that icon like info failure success waiting and mention so uh, this is how you can set the icon of the notification this is toast type so there are actually two type of toast uh, toast type are here so one is timed and second would be hidden so second would be hidden uh, the difference is if you keep time then the notification will pop up like usually in Android phones, a notification comes. So it will pop up for by default four seconds and then it will be available in the notification panel. The second one is hidden. So it will not be popped up, but it will be directly available in the notification section. So you can use according to your requirement. And we have some more uh, uh, parameters that we can pass, but that we will see in our later videos. So in that you can set the navigations, you can, you know, uh, add the styling. So using different attributes, we can do that, like different parameters, we can do that. So we will see that in our next uh, video sessions. So uh, we are good to go. I will just execute this code. Now let's see if my notification is generated or not. So I have opened the notification. So if you see, this is generated. So first of all, let's go, let's see if it came or not. So if you see, this is uh, available. So if you see, this is available here. And uh, this got, if you see, it is showing you have got one notification. The user was me, so it came from me. And this is the, uh, uh, this is the title. This is the body of the notification. <laughs> And this is the icon. So let's see the icon which I have kept. So this is info icon. So I think that is correct. So that is how we can set the notification. And let's see uh, how it looks in that record. So let me tell you about the expiry field that we have talked about in my last session. So yeah, this is the expiry. So it should be in seconds and by default it is 14 days we can set it according to us and this is the data uh, field which we will explore later in our next sessions uh, so this is how we can generate a simple notification now in my next video we will see how we can add uh, 
different kind of uh, links making the text bold adding a new line and adding different actions how we can add a custom image in the custom icon in the notifications so this is all we will see in our next videos so thank you and stay tuned for my next video thank you bye bye